Here's a meal to die for. This is torafugu, a prized Japanese delicacy. And it's so dangerous, you need a license to cook it. What makes this fish so dangerous and popular? Well, it all has to do with sex organs, clams, a special knife, and a former Japanese prime minister. Stay tuned, and we'll fish out the answers for you soon. <laughs> fish out. That's funny. Fugu is the Japanese name for pufferfish or blowfish. Every scuba diver's delight, this fish is famous for its spiky body that blows up into a ball when the fish senses danger. About 10,000 tons of fugu are consumed in Japan each year. And tiger fugu is considered the finest. Of the 120 species of blowfish found along the coasts of Japan, only 22 are safe to eat. The fish's ovaries, eyes, intestines, and liver are loaded with the extremely toxic compound tetrodotoxin, also called TTX. In 1958, 176 people died of fugu poisoning in Japan. TTX is 1,200 times more powerful than cyanide, and a single fugu contains enough toxin to kill 30 people. TTX can kill you within 20 minutes of eating it. The toxin bulldozes through your nervous system, causing numbness and tingling, nausea and diarrhea, paralysis and seizures. Then you die of suffocation. But the fish aren't born lethal. They become poisonous over time from the food they eat, although it doesn't kill them. Fugu fish dine mostly on shellfish, clams, crabs, and shrimp, invertebrates that carry TTX-containing bacteria. So how do people survive this gourmet meal with its kiss of death? Meticulous preparation is critical. The safest and best fugu fish is freshly caught and transported alive to restaurants. Some restaurants go as far as to airlift their fugu from the ocean. When sold in markets, sellers have to ensure correctly prepared fish ends up in the right hands. In 2018, a supermarket accidentally sold five packets of fugu fish with their toxic livers still inside. The Japanese town used its missile alert system to warn everyone. Typically, the fish is prepared seconds after being killed. This involves carefully removing and safely disposing of its poisonous organs. One accidental nick with a knife and the entire fish gets poisoned. The chefs use a special thin knife called a fuguhiki. And you need two years of rigorous training to earn a license to prepare fugu fish. This extreme caution hikes up the price of the fish. But why risk your life to eat an expensive gourmet fish? I'll come to that soon. Fugu fish has been on the Japanese menu for centuries. Its bones have been found in ancient Japanese historical sites from the Jomon period. This deadly fish has been banned several times. But in 1888, former Japanese Prime Minister Prince Ito Hirobumi made it popular with the masses. A giant fugu statue and a plaque still stand outside the restaurant where Hirobumi tasted the fugu that won his taste buds. Mm, 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 mm. Now, elaborate laws and the exclusive Tokyo Fugu Cooking Alliance keep fugu poisoning-related deaths down to a stomachable number. And today, there's the safer option of buying farm-raised TTX-free fugu. But people still enjoy testing their luck by eating the wild-caught blowfish. I take my poison wild, see? The delicate umami flavor of impossibly thin fugasashi or fugu sashimi may not have universal appeal. But this meal, which comes with the unmatchable thrill of gambling with your life, has many takers. And if you're hungry for more thrills, we've got the world's most dangerous fruit waiting for you in another episode of Origins of Food.